Good afternoon. I was going to say good morning. Um, it is Monday and I am just now eating lunch. I just did some schoolwork this morning. I posted the stuff for the podcast episode that just came out with Gretchen, just like a bunch of computer work that I had to do, but I just made some lunch and I wanted to show you guys that our new pillow cases came in from Amazon. So we got these ones, it is from, if you guys watched the Instagram Decides My Day, I actually had you guys pick between two of the choices that we liked. So they're both from Amazon, I'll link them down below. But I'm very excited about that, just bring some color to the living room. And then we got this little pumpkin at Home Goods yesterday and Sean insisted on getting this big like haunted house, it lights up, I'll show you guys probably later at night. But I do have screening rotation today. The morning was canceled, thank God. So I have screening patients this afternoon, so I'm gonna eat quick. And then I have to run to school and get like a couple of random things done in the basement, like go to the dispensary, turn stuff in, all of that good stuff. And then I all have patience. So I will keep you guys updated, but I'm gonna eat quick. That's why I'm talking really fast because of course I'm running late. Happy Monday, everybody. So I am out of screening clinic. It went well. My patient was, you know, just like a routine dental history, medical history, get radiographs, all that good stuff. So I am done for the day. I'm going to actually take my car back to the dealership to get it looked at again for insurance from the accident. And then I'm going to head home and it is Sean's mom's birthday tomorrow. So we are going out to a birthday dinner tonight. So I'm going to go home, shower, change, hopefully get some studying done, and then we'll go to dinner. Okay, so this really cute PR package from Boohoo just came and I figured I'd go through it with you guys because why not? We love a good PR package unboxing. So the first thing I see is actually these Diff blue light glasses, which I'm really excited about because as you guys know, I do work with Diff and I almost picked these out for one of the months that I was working with them and I didn't. So I'm really happy that Boohoo sent me them anyways. I now have so many pairs of Diff glasses, but I do love them and they are good quality. So these are the Scout blue light glasses, I think so cute and so fun i am so excited to wear these i'm gonna wear these as soon as i get out of the shower to study so cute then they sent me this cute little mug that says boohoo and inside is a vital proteins collagen shot and a vital proteins collagen bar i haven't tried either of these so i'm very excited to try these as well and i love a good mug honestly <laughs> um then they just sent like some little like highlighters and a floofy pen because the whole box is like back to school themed. I haven't used a physical planner in a while. I've been using my iPad, but I might have to go back to using a physical planner just because this stuff is so cute. So they sent me this, the Happy Planner brand, and it's just a bunch of like planner stickers. I don't know if you guys can see, but it says like Goal Crushed and these little like, they're all stickers, but they're also like paper you can write on them. I don't know, super cute. And then with that, they sent me this big happy planner. Let's see if I can move this. Okay, so it looks like this, which I actually really like. And it's got like tabs for all the months. And then it has like, you know, notes and ideas, birthdays to remember. And then each week looks like this. So also very cute. I Like I said, I might have to go back to using a regular planner. They sent me this, which, these like over ear headphones that say boohoo they're just plain black um they actually look really cute but let's try them on cute they sent me this two-piece set so this is the top and then the bottom is just navy blue like ribbed biker shorts so i'm really excited to try this on i think it's gonna be cute and i just love biker shorts and i don't have any navy pair so thank you so much boohoo I also have a package coming from them. I got a bunch of clothes. So I'm gonna do like a fall clothing, either like TikTok or Reel on Instagram with the clothes. And then of course you'll see them on my Instagram as well. I always post in Boohoo stuff because it's so affordable. So go check it out if you have not already. Good morning, can I help you? Good morning. Um, can I get a medium French vanilla and can I get a flavor shot of pumpkin in that please? You want the hot one? Yes. Can I please get the everything bagel bites too, please? You want the 
don't know. Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday. I never know what day it is. I am so tired, and it is so cold outside. And we ran out of creamer this morning. Sean got the last cup of coffee. So I ran to Tim Hortons. I literally have five minutes before my next lecture, but there's no quiz, so I'll just try to hurry up. But yeah, so we have a Tim Hortons near the house, and I just quickly came here to get coffee, and then I saw that they had pumpkin flavor, so I got that in there. And then I got the bagel bites. So, that is it. I don't even know what to say because I'm so tired and so cold. But I have a full day of lectures today. I'm sure at some point we're gonna watch Big Brother from Sunday because none of us are caught up on that. And then I have spin tonight outside, but if it's this cold, I don't know about that. We'll see, and then just studying for my exams because tomorrow I have night clinic and Thursday night. It's my first evening clinic for the semester, so I'm hoping I can get a bunch of studying done today and tonight, and then I won't be as stressed tomorrow for my exam on Thursday. I also just found out that we have a quiz on Thursday morning, so I need to get productive. You have certain small areas around the pen. Um, you, you, you will get- So we got Rita a slow feeder because she eats so fast and this is like kind of like a maze it's like a fun thing for her to get her food but she is so mad she has now moved the slow feeder all the way out here to try to get the last couple pieces of food and it takes her so much longer to eat okay so i just took some instagram pictures i've been feeling like i'm in a little bit of a creative rut recently oh by the way these are the Scout blue light glasses from Diff that I got in my Boohoo PR package. Um, I've just been feeling like in a little bit of a rut when it comes to social media, mainly Instagram. The new algorithm is just horrible and my pictures are reaching like literally a fourth of who they used to reach. And so like a lot of my followers aren't even seeing my post. As a consumer on Instagram, I'm not seeing anybody's posts that I follow. So I just, I hate it. And I'm really frustrated with Instagram as a whole right now. Um, but I love creating content. I love taking pictures. I love editing them. And so I just tried to take a couple more pictures inside. It's just, I, I get like frustrated with myself because I want to just go places to take pictures, but I, it's just like, I don't have time. I have to study right now. Um, but I need to soon. I have a couple of new clothes coming. Gabby has some clothes for me that she's shipping hopefully soon. I have a Boohoo package coming soon. And I just want to go outside and like take fall pictures because I mean, there's only just so many pictures you can take in your house. I do like the ones that I took today. I haven't edited them. I'll do that later. I need to study like I said. But I don't know, just been in a little bit of a creative rut recently when it comes to social media. I have been loving doing videos and I feel like those are improving and I've been really enjoying vlogging and doing different videos like that, but just Instagram photos, I don't know. I'm hopefully gonna figure out what I wanna do. I think the new season change will help just like set a direction of where I wanna take my Instagram feed. Um, I know this probably sounds stupid to some of you, but I just get so frustrated when I do put in the time and like I like a picture and then I look and only like a 10th of you guys that follow me got to see the photo. Like it's just frustrating. Um, and I've just been in a rut and since I can't see everybody I follow, I feel like I have no inspiration recently to like take pictures. So yeah, but I just took some pictures. So if you are not already follow me on Instagram, hopefully you will see the pictures. Um, one way is to turn your post notifications on for the videos and the photos. That way you're notified as soon as they go up, but I'm going to stop rambling and I need to study. I have my new fall pillows here. I love these blue light glasses and I need to just focus, buckle down and get some work done. It does the case of herpes zoster. Let me see if I, what is the next slide? Because I'm not sure if I, okay, this is the next. 20 deaf persons. So I read at graduation, she was having pain with the tooth. She came to my office, we took this x-ray, she had internal resorption. She was actually flying home or driving home. Hello friends. Let's just all do ourselves a favor and ignore my appearance. <laughs> I just finished with classes and I am headed to spin class right now outside. It is a little bit chillier than I'm used to, so I have full leggings and a sweatshirt on. But I did want to come in here and talk about a new update. So I put on my Instagram story asking you guys if you've ever dealt with 
dog anxiety, specifically like separation anxiety, because since quarantine, it's gotten even worse for Lola. She's always had it, um, but now it's like she's been potty trained for years and now she's just like pooping on this one spot on the rug. And we thought that it was from when Cloud was here and she smelt him, but we completely like reworked the rug and like moved it around and she's still doing it. So I did some research and she's showing like other symptoms of anxiety too. So I asked you guys on Instagram what you do if you've experienced a similar thing and I got some insight. So I ordered some treats. They're like all natural hemp treats on Amazon and those will be coming in tomorrow. But for right now, while I'm at spin class since Sean has his EMT class tonight, I put on like on the YouTube channel on our TV on our Roku, I put on like calming dog music for separation anxiety or something and she didn't bark when I left the house which usually she does um so that's a good sign but I will keep you guys updated on when I come home how she seems and then definitely I'll keep you updated with the treats as well but I just wanted to pop on and talk about that because a lot of people wrote back to my story saying that they've experienced something similar and they also don't know how to fix it so it's a lot more common than I thought I thought that Lola was just like that I didn't know it was that common so hopefully these things fix the issues that we are having and it calms her down a little bit because I know what it is like to have anxiety and it sucks and I don't want Lola to have to have anxiety every time we leave the house, even though we're coming home in not that very long. Like it's sometimes it's like when we leave for like an hour to go to the grocery store. Like it's not even like it's when I'm at school all day necessarily, it's just all the time. So I will keep you guys updated. I am heading to spin, like I said, and then home to shower and study because I was not as productive school-wise as I wanted to be today. Okay, so I am, wow, I really look like Dwight from The Office with my hair pulled back like this and the glasses, <laughs> big yikes, but I am home from spin, showered, now I'm studying, watching Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is on the TV in the background, and I just wanted to give you guys like a little update on where I'm at in studying in case you were curious, and I guess just my process of studying. So I went through on my iPad, this is my computer now, I just airdropped it to my computer so I could use both, but... I went through on my iPad and made little study guides for each lecture using Procreate. And then basically what I do, since I've gone through all the lectures once writing them, I now go through and read all of this like lecture stuff, especially the highlighted stuff. And then I went through earlier, let's see if I can get this up. I went through earlier using these and made like lists to, at least for oral path, it has been really helpful in the past when I took this class last semester to make lists of basically like identifying factors of the different diseases. So for example, any lesion that's pre-malignant, um, anything that doesn't require treatment, more common in women, um, presents with a fever, just things like this to like sort of categorize them helps me at least. So I'm going to go through read all of these and then go back through my list and read through all of them and make sure I haven't missed anything. And then the last thing I'm probably going to do tonight is it, I'm probably going to go through and like look up pictures in the slides of anything that I don't really know what it looks like. And then tomorrow is Wednesday. My exam is on Thursday. So my plan for tomorrow morning before I go into school for clinic is to kind of figure out what I don't know since it's the last day before the exam and just sort of like test myself, especially using the list study guide thing that I made and just kind of nail down anything else. And then I do have night clinic tomorrow, which sucks. So I won't be able to study until I get home from that, but I'm really gonna try to focus and study there. And then I have a quiz Thursday morning and then right after the quiz is the exam. So. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but it's fine. We're all fine. It's not the end of the world either way. I'm glad I got my study guides done in advance. I feel like I have like a base knowledge. Now I just kind of need to figure out all the details of everything. But yeah, I just do something similar for other tests too. But I don't really know because these are a lot of new classes. Whereas oral path, I took a different version of it last semester. and It's taught by the same professor. Um, so these are just different lesions, but it's the same general outline of the course so I do know how to study for that but we'll see how the other ones go I don't even know let's check and see I know I have an exam tomorrow and then next week on Tuesday morning I have a cariology exam which that has weekly quizzes so I feel like I've been learning that as we go let's see so I have this exam on Thursday cariology next Tuesday and then nothing after that and then another one 
endo midterm is the following Tuesday. So that is what all of September looks like and then weekly quizzes. But those I've already shown you guys I study like the day of or the night before. Um, so yeah, midterm season is upon us and boy, can I not wait to be done studying forever. Getting there, but not yet. Tell them, tell them.